Hello and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we've got something a little bit different, something that I've been wanting to do for a little while now. And um, it isn't going to be just me in this video. For once, there are actually going to be other people. First of all though, before we carry on, why don't you hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Because apparently, this many of you have not subscribed. And I don't know why. Because this place only brings the best kind of content. But, other than that, now that you've done that, let's get on with the actual video. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, so, in today's video, what I have done is I have asked a few of my friends from all over the place to ask me some questions, and I'm going to answer them for you. So, the first person I asked was my good friend, Faye, and I've known her for about four or five years now, or four years, I think. Yeah, something around there. And she asked this. Hi, my question is... Did you know that you always wanted to be a zoologist or did you want to be something else when you were younger? Well, in order to answer this question, um, obviously, I'm very big on animals. I do lots of animal videos on this channel, so go check them out. Um, but if I wasn't going into zoology or zoo work, the one thing I would say I probably would go into is probably doing things like directing work on films or TV shows. Um, small production companies doing filming here and there um, so a large media route probably um, but yeah that's probably where I would go other than zoology okay so my next person I asked um, I've known her a little while um, and one thing we have in common is Pokemon Go and I know for a fact that um, she uh, she plays very regularly, and so do I, and yeah, so she asked this. Okay, um, what's your favourite Pokemon from each region, like all of them? Okay, so my favourite Pokemon from each region or generation, so for first generation, it's probably quite hard, because they're all pretty basic, I'd say. Except obviously you've obviously got things like Charizard and Gyarados and Mewtwo, Mew, Snorlax, but I'd probably say my favourite from gen the first generation, I can't think, it's probably... Pfft, I'm probably going to have to say Gyarados, probably go with the Gyarados, most likely. But Generation 2 is fairly easy, because my favourite Pokemon of all time is from Generation 2, and that's for Alligator. Generation 3, um, probably Sceptile. Um, generation 4, gosh, Generation 4... Um, probably Gibble, probably Gibble. Generation five, Embor. Generation six, that's Kalos. So Mimikyu, I think Mimikyu's Gen seven. I think. If not, probably Greninja. Um, Gen seven. Um, I don't know for Gen 7. I don't really like Sun of Moon. Or Sun of Moon? Sun and Moon. I don't know. Um, considering between Sun and Moon, you had, or after Sun and Moon, you had Pokemon Go, Eevee. Can I, because technically they're not officially released, and that's Meltan and Melmetal. I'm probably going to choose Melmetal, but if I chose an actual Pokemon from Gen Seven or the Cal uh, not Kalos region, the Aloha region. It's probably Vicavolt, probably Vicavolt. But then on to Gen Eight, which is Sword and Shield. Um, I'll probably go with. Gens, uh, uh, oh, I don't know. Toxtricity, tox uh, Toxtricity, probably, probably Toxtricity. But yeah, so those are my favourite Pokemon from each gen. I hope you um, like the answers. I mean, I know a lot of them are starters, but they're probably ones I overused. But next is my good friend, Alicia. I've known Alicia for, wow, what, seven, eight, probably a little bit more than that years. And this is what she asked. 
Okay, my question is, if you could bring back one extinct animal, what would it be and why? So, an animal I'd bring back from extinction... I mean, the obvious answer is, I want to bring back dinosaurs, but they were probably extinct for a good reason, because otherwise humans would probably not be here. So I'm probably going to have to go with something like a woolly mammoth or a dodo, most probably a dodo. Because I really, I would love to see a dodo. I'd love to just walk down the street and see a dodo walking along, even though they're from the Mauritius. But anyway. And another question from my good friend Dan, who I've known again eight, nine, nearly ten years probably, and that is this answer, this question, which he always asks. But it's this: a very simple but fun question to ask. What is your most embarrassing moment? My most embarrassing moment. Right, okay. So, he probably won't remember this, but he was actually there at my most most embarrassing moment. And we, uh, we as a group of friends at youth, we, um, we, for some reason, we watched a Thor one evening and I was wearing some really, really badly made jeans and I was just sitting there and I heard a rip and I was like, oh no, that can't be what I think it is. And I had ripped like down the middle of my jeans and yeah, it wasn't great fun. I don't know if Dan knew or saw this, but Dan, you were there, you were sitting right next to me and there was a point where I got up to go go get food and I actually uh, rang my mum to see if she had any shorts uh, in the car or anything, because it was in the summer, so see if there was any shorts in the car and she ran out. Uh, she was just about to leave and so she ended up getting them and like after getting the uh yeah after getting the um shorts um i went back in and just said didn't say much i think the only thing that dan clocked was have you always been wearing that i think he said like have you have you always been wearing those sh shorts and i just turned around and went yeah you've been paying too much attention to the film so i think that was how it goes just how it was but next, next on my people's list is my good friend, Emily. Now, Emily is a fellow animal worker, like me, and I know that she is very good with handling all kinds of different animals. Um, I mean, she put up with me for three, nearly three-ish, two-ish years. So yeah, she must be good at handling There's a lot of different things. But she asks this. Hi. Um my question to you is what was your favorite animal handling experience and what was your scariest okay so my best handling experience probably when I worked with a sloth I mean I got to have sloth cuddles and I got to have pictures with sloths because they didn't move but at the same time not many people have worked with a sloth so yeah and my most scariest and actually Emily, you might remember this. In college, we had a tokay gecko. Well, technically, we used to have two, but I was never there when they had the two. And the female survived, the male died. So, for starters, this tokay is a widow, so she's angry that she's lost her husband. She then loses a foot, then loses a tail, then loses an eye, all the time while I'm not there. And then when I turn up, it takes me a few years to like get to the point where I can handle this aggressive tokay. And it was the, it was, I think you were there actually. I honestly think you were there, Emily. When I put my head in and she was literally, so, because she had a big viv and she was always up in this top corner and I had to put my head in to see where she was before I grabbed her. And honestly, I thought she was going to leap on my face. I've never been more scared of working with an animal than this tote cake gecko. And when we finally got her down, me and you were passing, me and Emily, when I say you, I'm talking to you, Emily. Um, me and Emily were, handling this toke and it just wouldn't shut up and it didn't close its mouth it was aggressive but yeah that's probably the most scariest thing i've done yeah handling wise anyway okay and last but not least is my good friend jacob now he asked this my question to you is what goals do you want to achieve this year outside of youtube so like learning new skills uh getting new species of animal or building that bird Avery was talking about ages ago. 
So what, what goals do you want to achieve 2021? And what a great question to end on that actually is. So what are my goals of 2021? Well, like you mentioned about building the bird aviary, I'd love to be able to build um, a small uh, aviary this year, whether it just be finches and budgies, or whether I get a pair of diamond doves, or even up it to the point where I get Senegals and lovebirds and uh, karikis, all kinds of things like that. Outside of YouTube, what skills? Mm. Prop. I really want to get a scuba license. I've really wanted a scuba license for a little while so that next year, 2022, I can go on holiday and go somewhere that I can do scuba diving. Um, so yeah, that's a skill I'd probably want to learn. That will get a venom license and learn how to handle anti-venoms. Um, but obviously that's the stuff I want to do outside of YouTube. But if we were talking YouTube, I want to hit 150 subs by my birthday, which is May 26th, so guys, get subscribing. And yeah, by the end of the actual year, I want to at least be on 200 subs. So those are my actual goals. And just move up the move up position within what I, where I work. So get to the manager role of um, managing an aquatic shop. I mean, I'm already supervisor now, so get to the point of manager would be amazing. But yes, thank you to all my favourite people. Well, you're not all my favourites because you're not supposed to have favourites, but thank you to everybody that has asked me questions. I hope you all have enjoyed listening to what I have to answer to your questions and to those people other than the guys that asked. Watching those questions, I mean, if you have questions that you want me to answer, let me know in the comments so that I can answer them in maybe future videos. To everybody that isn't, um, isn't part of the family yet and you are watching this video make sure you become part of this family that you can ask me questions and find out more about different things do you want to see a video where I talk about my animal career do you want to see a video where I talk about the things I can do and want to do in the future blah 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 so there's all that don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video have fun guys bye